Welcome, everyone. My name is Sergey Ivanov. I'm a PhD and a research scientist at Pretel. And today I'll speak about Graph Machine Learn for DataFest 2020. So what is Graph Machine Learn? Graph Machine Learn is the science between graph theory and machine learn. And it has a lot of intersections. First of all, it's a representation learn, which is how can we develop embeddings for the graphs for ML models. It's graph neural networks, which is how can you learn those embeddings? How can you apply later for downstream tasks? It's generative models, which is how can you generate graphs with the given properties? It's algorithms on graphs, of course. It's knowledge graphs, which are the graphs that represent real world knowledge. It's structure learn, which is how can you design a graph uh, given some unstructured data? And it's applications to uh, computer visions, NLP, and many other fields. Now, uh, let's talk about applications or some success stories of graph neural networks in the last years. First of all, we have seen that we can apply GNN to develop new drugs, new medicine, and new antibiotics, for example. You can apply GNN to predict the dynamics of the particles, uh, for example, the particles of the water. You can also apply GNN together with uh, state-of-the-art solvers that uh, solve uh, combinatorial optimization problems such as TSP or MaxCAD. And finally, uh, we can use GNN to predict the behavior or the dynamics of the pedestrians and other cars for autonomous driving. Now, where can you learn about this field? Where can you meet people? Uh, what is the community of graph machine learning? Well, first of all, it's uh, the biggest conferences at ICML, NeurIPS, iClear, KDD. Uh, so for example, at KDD this year, we had 30% of papers related to graph machine learning. And at ICML, NeurIPS, and iClear, this number is around 15%, which is still a very huge amount of papers. At our archive, if you uh, look at the number of papers that we have in the intersection of computer science and graph theory, this would be approximately 350 papers. So this is a very huge and active area of research. At workshops, uh, you can meet people, you can discuss new ideas, maybe insufficiently developed ideas, but something that will be published uh, in the next years. And finally, at social media, at Twitter, at Medium, you can uh, see people talking about their algorithm, their models, the problems that they currently work on. Now let's talk a little bit about trends and future directions of this field. Uh, in the beginning of this year, I wrote a blog post on top trends of graph machine learning for this year, and I outlined three different big topics that people currently work on. Uh, the first one is studying foundations of graph neural networks. For example, answering the question of how powerful the graph neural networks, what are the limitations of graph neural networks, and studying different phenomena such as oversmoothing. Um, the second one was knowledge graphs. How can we use the facts about this um, world to facilitate some applications, for example, recommendations or chatbots and so on. And uh, the final one was applying graph neural networks for different domains, different applications where they haven't been used before. For example, I already described you how you can use GNN for autonomous driving or for drug discovery. Uh, but there are many more applications that people have tried, for example, fixing the bugs in the software or optimizing the computational graphs of TensorFlow. Now, if I look in the future and uh, describe what I see the problems that people will be working on, uh, first of all, I think that people will start working on applying graph neural networks at a huge scale, at the scale of billions of nodes and edges that you can encounter at uh, some companies, at big companies, uh, and um, which are abundant in, in production world. Um, Someone related to this is uh, seeing how graph neural network and graph machine learning in general is used in, in the industry. And we already have seen that uh, at companies such as Alibaba, Uber Eats, uh, Pinterest, uh, graph neural networks have been used to, um, to help with recommendations. Um, but 
I believe that we still have a shortage of such works and there will be more and more applications of graph neural networks in industry settings. Uh, for structural learning, uh, it's a very trendy topic right now. How can you uh, design a graph given some image or text or uh, 3D points so that later you can apply all this machinery of graph neural networks um, to, study, uh, to study the picture, for example. And finally, it's um, the killer apps of graph neural networks trying to define where we will have the biggest impact of all this work at which applications for which problems. Now, if you want to learn about it, where, where do you do this? Uh, first of all, there are many news every day on, on this topic. So uh, you can follow uh, my Telegram channel. Uh, there are many people uh, on Twitter uh, that, that publish about their works and graph machine learn. There are blog posts that people make on Medium. And there is a newsletter that I also run monthly. If you're very serious, uh, there are different courses that study graph machine learning, for example, at Stanford. Um, there are still, I would say, a lack of such courses, but in the coming years, I think at least um, the topics of graph neural networks, of graph convolutional networks will be embedded inside um, deep learning courses. Now, if you want to get a little bit more practice, there are different uh, Python libraries that people uh, develop. Uh, the two most popular are DGL and PyTorch Geometric. Those have um, some tutorials, so you can always uh, pick those and uh, go through tutorials and learn more about how can you design your own GNN model. Now, uh, about manuscripts and books, uh, recently people announced two books on graph machine learning. There are different services that uh, highlight different details of graph neural networks. And as I described on archive, there are many, many words on, on this topic. So um, going through surveys and, and books is a good way to start. And finally, workshops, especially when you um, are mature in this area and you have some questions. I think workshops are the best place where you can um, go and talk to people and see their opinion, whether this makes sense or not. And usually at all the big conferences in computer science, ADD, uh, dub, 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 uh, iClear, ICML, there is at least one workshop on, on graph machine learning, usually more. Now about this particular um, topic, we'll have a section at uh, DataFest and we'll have two tracks. The first track will be more academic-like presentations, and the second will be more industrial-like applications of graph machine learning. So we we'll have track one with uh, five speakers for uh, academic-like presentations, and we'll have four speakers for industrial-like um, presentations. And the talks uh, they will give are the following. So for academic presentations, we will have a talk by Ludmila about nearest neighbor search and graphs. Um, a talk by Anton about graph embeddings. Um, a talk about knowledge graph by Michael. Um, presentation on graphical models for tensor networks and machine learning by Roman. And Boris will give a presentation on scene graphs and application to computer vision. Um, and for industrial applications, we'll have a talk by Vadim about business transformation through the problems on graphs. Uh, Svitoslav will talk about uh, graph visualization techniques. Denise will describe uh, the contents on AutoML on graphs. And Maxime will talk about link predictions with graph neural networks and its applications to bank industry. So hopefully you will like it. Please join us on 19th and 20th of September at DataFest. Thank you very much.